Hello. Today we will be creating a pivot chart to create a line graph to trend data. Here we have data collected from elementary school's air handling unit. And we're just going to trim the data just to see how the system's uh, functioning to see if everything's working fine or if we can find some energy saving uh, measures. So what you want to do is just select the data here. And then you want to go to insert and create pivot chart. I'm not going to create a new pivot chart because I have one pre-made, but you would want to select a new worksheet and hit OK. But I'm going to hit cancel because I said I have to create it. So you're going to get a, uh, a blank tip of template that looks like this on your left. And you're going to want to uh, enter this information over here on the right. So you want to enter the relevant data that suits your needs. So we want time on the uh, row labels for our x-axis. And for our values, we want for our y-axis. So you just click those, drag them in there, uh, however you like to uh, graph the data. And we have a uh, report filter option here. And I put supply fan history in there because we only want to trim data when the supply fan is running. Because if the supply fan is not running, we're obviously not using uh, energy. So put that data in there. And then this chart will self-populate. And up here we have our, our uh, filter. You, on uh, B1, you can just click on or off when you want to turn the data. If you want to, if you want to turn it off, you can. But I would, uh, for energy saving measures, we want to see when the fan is on. So, and then with the data selected here, just highlight it off. Go to insert, click line, and then just click the normal line graph. And then you'll have something like this pop up. But I'll have this pre made. So we're going to go over here. And this is what we have here. So we have this line graph. And you want to create access for this. That way you know what you're looking at. Because we have more than one variable here. We have temperature, we have time, and we have a percentage that the control valve is open and outside of the diaper. So the way, you, the way you edit this graph on the pivot table is go to layout and access titles. We have primary and secondary access. So we need to create a secondary access. First thing you do is uh, you can make this left side a temperature. So what you would do is go to that uh, access, go to primary vertical, and click rotate it title. And once you click that, you can type in temperature. And then go to primary access, horizontal, and below access. And you can create time down here. And then, when you create, then now we need to create a uh, secondary access. What you do is you click the lines that you think should be secondary access that are not temperature related, such as outside of damper and the, coin, the uh, dual control valve. Go to format data series and click secondary access. And then hit close. And then this will self-populate over here with uh, with uh, numbers, and you can go to secondary vertical access and do the exact same thing as you did for primary by type and percentage. And I obviously go to uh, chart title here and go above chart just as you would for a normal uh, graph. So. Now we have everything labeled and it's easy to read. We can see when this, what time the supply fan is being ran, which is down here at the bottom of the axis once again. So we know the fan kicks on around 9 a.m. and it turns off around 7, 7.30. I'm sorry, not 7.30, by 5.30 in the evening, which is good because it's a school and that's when uh, everybody starts leaving to go home. Uh, and this blue line here, we know that the system's ventilating when it should be. It's about 12% uh, open, which is minimum uh, standards. And it kicks off as occupancy starts to decrease, which is great. 
in this purple line here, we have the control valve, which it seems to be modulating down as you know temperature tends to go up. You know, and that's a pretty steady temperature line. It's not fluctuating too much. So that's the temperature sensor is running uh, is uh, operating uh, correctly. And uh, the uh, discharge temperature is staying uh, really high when it should be uh, hitting the building. And then the, the system tends to kick back on around you know, 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And the uh, temperature drops around, you know, probably 5 o'clock in the morning, kicks on to keep that temperature up for its occupants again. And you can see the uh, outside air damper doesn't kick on probably until around 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. That's when kids have to enter the building. So this is a great example on how a building is, uh, how a school should function, should function. And the good thing about trend data is you can trend tons of, you can, tr ton, you can trend tons of data. You, know, you can trend up to months at a time, you know, weeks at a time. It doesn't matter on how you uh, want to train your data. And you just look for logical errors in the system when the supply fan shouldn't be running, you know, if the cooling valves aren't running during late nights, such as like 12 in the, uh, 12 in the, uh, 12 at midnight on a weekend, you know, you just look for logical errors. So that's how you turn data. Uh, and thank you for your time.